begin our program. All right, please make your way to the main stage as we begin our program. All right, so my name is Debbie Lewis. I'm the chair of Brooklyn Young Democrats. And we are excited to be amongst you all this evening. We have been doing amazing work. I want to thank you all for coming out and for bringing toys, bringing donations. Uh, we are going to flood the community with everything that we have from tonight, so thank you so much. Um, and now I will pass it over to the president of Brooklyn Young Democrats, Jermaine Isaac. New York City, good evening. We can do better than that. New York City, good evening. Yeah. It is a beautiful night tonight. My name is Jermaine Isaac, and I am the president of Brooklyn Young Democrats, and I am honored and privileged to be here tonight. In our role as young Democrats, we are passionate, energized, and eager to be civically engaged to all the trailblazers tonight who have taken it upon themselves to make sure that the young voices are not ignored, making sure that we're taking a stand as a collective unit. We thank you. And tonight, we want to especially give an amazing round of applause thanks to our Kings County Democratic Chair and the Honorable Assembly Member, Rhinese Bishat Herlin, for making tonight possible. We can do better than that. As a collective, we are capable of leading this movement. As Nelson Mandela said, for generations, young people have blown the winds for change, leading the way to visions beyond our imaginations. Thank you. Now, more than ever, we need to come together as a unified front for the sake of our future and our communities. To all the honorable elected officials tonight, the donors and members who are joining us here this evening, thank you for your sacrifices, your dedication, and your service. And to the people of our beautiful Brooklyn Borough, New York City, and state, we may not have it all together, but together we have it all. Thank you and God bless. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sabrina Rezzi, the press secretary for Rodney's P. Shot Hermelin. I want to thank you all for coming this evening. Rodney's is an inspiration to me personally and to people from my generation who grew up believing in the hope that we first felt in 2008. We've got a big year ahead. We need to turn New York 11 blue. We need to support our friends in swing states, and we need to see to it that in 2022, we get an even bigger majority. And right here in Brooklyn, the success of the Democratic Party depends on you. So thank you for your support. I'm about to introduce the woman who made all of this possible, someone who restores our hope. She's a champion for maternal health care, election reform, and minority and women-owned businesses. She is the first woman and first black woman to lead the Brooklyn Democratic Party, and today she made a very important announcement endorsing our next governor. There are few people whose support is more consequential than hers. Let's welcome Brooklyn Democratic Party Chair, Assemblywoman Rodney Spichot Hermelin. Um, 
Attorney General uh, Tish James, uh, Mayor-elect Eric Adams, and all the New York State Dems. Um, it's just been really great to do this holiday uh, party because it was very, it was, you know, we were in a position where we couldn't do it last year and the year before, and we're making this a, our spot, so we want to thank uh, Broadway stages. Let's give Broadway stages, yes? Tony, Gina, Monica, thank you so much for beautifying this place. Is this place great? Yes, oh, beautiful. Well, that's their thing, right? One of the best holiday parties ever, right? <laughs> I also want to thank all the clubs who participated in the toy drive and add all of you who participated in the toy drive. So a shout out to Lou Fidler, 41st um, Assembly District Democratic Club, Shirley Chisholm Democratic Club, Vanguard Independent Democratic Association, Stars and Strike, and the Bay Democrats. I also want to shout out to our fundraising team, Joe Boba, Fran um, Francis uh, Cisolciaria, Margaret Tropinas, Bri Brianna Suggs, Blundell Lighty, Sabrina Rezzi, and Jonathan Harkavy. Right. Thank you for putting this together. Now we have some elected here. I want to shout out to Public Advocate Jumani Williams, who was here earlier today. Yeah, to leave. We have queens in the house, yes. We have both president of the Queens County, Donovan Richards, where are you? We also had Manhattan in the house. We had the both president of Manhattan, Gail Brewer. Going back to Brooklyn, we have is realized in ways 
that actually build back better. Paving the way forward and building on the work of Democrats who served before, who will soon have a new direction and new leadership paving that way under Eric Adams' administration. Let's give it up to Eric Adams. And that wouldn't all be possible without the leadership of my friend, Bill de Blasio, who will be remembered for making pre-K for all possible. For championing MWBEs, for promoting alternative transportation in initiatives, and fighting for equity for all of those who previously did not have a strong voice in our, in our governance. And he could not make it today, but we wanted to uh, present this um, appreciation, small token of appreciation for our mayor, Mayor Bill de Blasio, for all the work that he has done in the past two terms. And we love him, we'll miss him. Mayor Bill de Blasio! And now, I want to thank all of you who were able to raise, over the course of two years, nearly $800,000. Yes. Very hard to do. And as we continue to operate the Democratic Party with strength, helping our localities be blue, very blue. And to help many of those Democrats call Brooklyn their home, from the mayor to the mayor-elect to the state attorney general to the majority leader to the U.S. Senate, is a point of proud, as well as a concrete demonstration that we, right here in this borough, are doing what it takes to help our nation regain its rightful place as the model for freedom-loving people everywhere around the globe. And as the coronavirus pandemic Rage, we help show a way forward online. We live stream meetings and even broadcast the first citywide candidate debates of the year. We were the best, Brooklyn was the best. One result was an astonishing 40% increase over 2013's turnout and Democratic participation in the primary election. And as a woman, mm -hmm. and as a woman of color, and one for whom the subject is tremendously personal. It was deeply meaningful to me to be able to introduce maternal health care legislation in the assembly this year. Yeah. Yeah. Far too long, women and children's health have been overlooked in this country. A shameful legacy. I have always been honored to host the Women's History Month celebrations, spotlighting our up and coming act, act, activists. And working with the county committee, county committee, we address the long overlooked issues of gender representation. Mm -hmm. And enacted a long sought after measure that allows our leaders and candidates to run for office using their preferred pronouns. But enough of looking back. We all need to do everything we can going forward. And we'll be determining the direction our party will be taking going forward at our public policy issues meeting. So put December 12th, this Sunday, on your calendar. If it's not there already, and join us as we set our course for the next 12 months. It is my pleasure to have the Brooklyn Young Democrats in attendance. Give a big round of applause for the future leaders of our party. We also have Senator Passard in the house. Senator Rossat Passard in the house. The engagement and work they've done so far, the Brooklyn Young Dems, is amazing. You heard them, and they are just getting started. I've seen them organizing, mobilizing, and engaging with electeds in the community for a better Brooklyn. I call on everyone to stay focused on organizing, mobilizing, and engaging in the next generation of future leaders. Amen. And now, before we bring our first guest of honor, I want to say that it's a true honor to have announced my absolute full endorsement of her for the highest seat in the state, Governor Kathy Hochul. <laughs> 